is kind of an interesting matchup where I'm... I kind of want to say things can be even at times, but I'm not really sure just because... There's a factor in... The fact that Zelda has Nehru's love, which reflects a lot of the options. She can also kind of pressure all the links to make an approach option with Knight, but also, like, because she has a reflector, but at the same time, it all depends on, like, how well you can do to call that out. I think so far, JoJo's doing a really good job of just making sure, like, okay, I'm not gonna go for a projectile but at that range. If I'm close range, you know, going for something like Jab or Forward Tilt is definitely much the better option, versus when it's long range, just throw Boomerang and then see how things happen. Definitely the fact that, like, Nehru's love He's not only a reflector, but leaves Zelda intangible is pretty good for her. Especially when it comes down to Toon Link trying to make options where he can try to get a confirm. Although, in the middle of the char in the night charge, though, Zelda would not be safe. Of course, the knight does appear behind Zelda, so it will not block anything. That was good. I'm trying to see if Jojo was going to opt for the roll or like get up attack in trying to punish Zelda from that range, but he did not fall, so just kind of came in with a shield get up to avoid as much as possible. Nothing to be scared there, nice, goes for the jump here, couple item plays in tow, missed the forward air, that was good either way here. The dash back was really smart from Jojo, just because he can get away from a lot, but also call out Zelda, if she does go for a roll, the back hit of Hero Spin will actually hit as well, so that was good out of the way, but the Knight will catch him on the roll. Tough spot for Jojo just because I feel like he could have just gone, gone for neutral get up. But I guess he was trying to time it that he wouldn't have to worry about Knight. Hero Spin, nice. I think what he was trying to see if the Boomerang would hit Zelda, it's like kind of the Hero Spin. Or if Ven was gonna go for a roll. That's kind of one of those things about Ven. He doesn't really opt for that many rolls unless it's one of those options where he's just looking for positioning. Nice back air. Out of shield there for Jojo. Questionable downer, but I still respect it just a little bit here. Go to the double jump to mix the timing, trying to avoid enough from Ven. Goes for the bomb toss. A little bit risky here. I like the fact that he knows I'm at long range. This is where I can afford to go for the item play and then see what I can pick up something from there. That's the kind of a crazy- Oh, nice. Good stall here, not gonna lose too much. At the ledge. That was a situation where Ben was looking to definitely benefit from. Nice directional air dodge to come back. Grab the landing, but unfortunately when he went for the jump there and the down air, Ben was able to catch that in the nick of time with his own up air. This puts Jojo at even per- sorry. Had stock deficit here. Back to the attrition game here, that all depends on how Jojo can find an opportunity here to break through to Zelda's defenses. Yeah, nice. Went for a feedback back forward air, really good. Cut the roll in that situation, but wow, that's a full jab, 34%. Spacing game in again, oh, there was a spacing game there. Once again, we're at the attrition game here. I think that's kind of where, like, JoJo seems to be doing pretty well. Is when it comes down to the spacing game and the projectile war, he's usually the one walking away with a little bit more benefit. And then, like I said, right, you find a pick with a bomb, you find a pick with a boomerang, and then you can finally slowly make an approach. Or you hit Zelda out of that. Unfortunately, Ven does not connect the last hit of Fowler's win, so he doesn't get the stock, but that would have been definitely something to take care of JoJo for sure. Nice, good patience here. That's kind of one of those key things here in this matchup. Don't lose patience, because the minute you go a little bit too aggressive, Zelda can definitely punish you. I like how she kind of rolled a little bit away from Knight, so that Knight would cover her, and then would allow her to go for something like Din's Fire. That's one of those defensive tactics. Once again, Ven making the same play, that's really good. It's a good defensive tactic, though, just because she can avoid a lot as well, but unfortunately, Jojo will get caught in the middle of the jump from the bomb toss, and that puts Ven at game one.
<laughs> Let's be real, the real star of the show was the Phantom Knight. I think that's kind of how it works for Zelda. You know, you're not maining Zelda, you're maining Phantom Knight. <laughs> it's it's her biggest tool in the neutral where she forces you to option select. Do you want to jump? Do you want to hold shield? Do you want to roll? Do you want to give up stage control? It forces that option, which you kind of have to respect it unless you have a, re a really good reflector to fight against Knight. And in Young Ling's case, sorry, Toon Ling's case, he either has to hit Zelda so she doesn't have Knight, or she has he has to play a little bit more safe to kind of fight Knight. It's it's a little bit, you know, it's a more of a cushion basically. Even though Zelda has, even though the knight is a lot for Zelda in terms of the option select and forcing opponents into there, the knight is still very slow on the drop for Zelda. She only gets to do a few things afterwards, like roll back as a defensive option or try to catch up an aerial, and it all depends if the opponent commits to an aerial. Pog. I was gonna say, Joe's just gonna be careful when he comes back. I like the fact that. Where Ben said Knight at that situation, it was looking to just cover Jojo on the roll or on the return to the stage. I oh, know, caught in the middle of trying to throw a bomb here. This is looking really tough, yeah, and he had to hold shield there because if not, he would have to face Knight. Definitely, that's why I tell people Knight is very much similar to a Marvel vs. Capcom assist. It's kind of like an assist mechanic almost. Except the Knight. Even though it'll die, it'll always come back. Although Jojo looked nice, I like the little bit of the spacing in here. He went for the direction. Sorry. He went for a spot dodge into the up tilt. That'll take the stock. That's kind of one of those things that I do want to see Tumling do a little bit more in terms of for Jojo. Is go for Zare just a little bit more because it adds a little bit of that extra zoning tool that Tumling has. In which Ren might have to respect tooling zoning at certain positions where he will be able to punish, especially when you're fighting against neighbor's love. Yeah, he's doing a pretty good job. It all comes down to the projectile war. It's the fact that Zelda has a few projectiles, but they're slower at the draw versus Toon Link, where his projectiles are definitely much faster against hers. Even though neighbor's love is a factor, it's something that is very, very committal compared to Fox or Falco Reflector. Oh, nice. He went a little bit off stage, trying to see if he can catch a bit on a directional air dodge for an air, for a forward air. Oh, I was gonna say, he has to be careful, because when a knight sneaks under the platform or the stage, he can definitely hit you. That was, sword swing is very, very <laughs> wide. Questionable downer again, but hey man, if your opponent doesn't punish you for it, then is it questionable at that point? Good back air, nice. I wanted to, that was good to go for the up tilt to cover if Ven was gonna go for a panic option, trying to get away from the ledge just because he's at disadvantage there. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, he gets to, he has to force himself to hold shield there. This is not, you will face Knight. Double up air, 79%. Jojo looking for an opportunity here, does almost gets the forward air, doesn't find it. Good on the boomerang to be out there in play, but Jojo has to go for a deep recovery. He's able to make it, goes for the reversal on the up special with the bomb on the recovery, but not enough because it's a little bit too low. 85% here. This is definitely something Ven could do to bring back, so it's not out of the cards for Ven just yet. Nice. Good on the arrow. That's kind of one of those things about Toon Link arrow is that once you shoot it, it's very, very much consistent in terms of the trajectory. It doesn't, it takes a while for it to fall off. That was good. It would have caught uh, get up attack, roll get up. Or maybe not get up attack, but definitely roll get up. Now this is definitely doable for Ben. Once again, the bomb toss, hold the shield here, watch yourself on the spacing. This kind of kind of, this kind of has to go back a little bit slower for Jojo in terms of pacing. Like, he kind of has to just slow it down. The victory is within reach. He doesn't have to over approach here. You kind of have to lean Zelda out at this situation. Lean for it, yes. Missed forwarder though. <laughs> I 
like the fact that that was just enough for him to just continuously pressure Zelda with a forward tilt. And then unfortunately when Ven let go of shield and went for a forward arrow, he got caught by the forward tilt. Good stuff to you, uh, Jojo. He kind of knew, like, okay, I have all of the stage. You're the one who has to let go of shield. This puts Jojo at a 2-1 here, of course, winner semis, so he does have... So he does have another game to fight for, and Ben has two games to catch up. For Jojo, that's a back air. Stage positioning, he has a lot of to work for. I was, I was careful. If he did not air dodge, he would have definitely got caught with the upper. Wouldn't have been a stop, would have been a bad spot. Either way, Jojo's still in a bad spot. Good enough on him to not roll, too. Rolling against Zelda is very, very punishable by death. You will lose a lot. She can catch you for it, too. Once again, the knight setup here, but unfortunately, he will get caught by the down smash. Stock deficit here, Ven gets to run away with a lot. It's kind of one of those things about Zelda is she can definitely snowball you and once she gets a stock. If she can win once, she can win again, and that can just lead to a whole, whole stock deficit. I mean, that's where you kind of see Ven right now. He's pretty much up on... Jojo by a whole stock, but the forward air on the low recovery here. He died at 78%. That forward air is no joke. Nice direction air dodge. He does have the bomb in play. Goes for recovery. I like the bomb toss upward to kind of like cover him a little bit. If then we're trying to go for a spike, but unfortunately he will get caught by the forward smash. Yeah, now we're starting to slowly see Zer. War of Attrition here. Jojo found a pick, but it's a little bit too slow on the draw. Misses Opportunity Bomb, no forward air. Still good enough to hit him to fight Zelda. He is down one stock still. him going for the jump but unfortunately like I said Knight has such a wide angle in which he swings a sword and that'll catch jump and unfortunately for Jojo that'll catch his jump and his opportunity to try to come back on the stage So here, game five scenario already, Van kind of tied it up. I think the one thing that Jojo 
The stage selection was definitely in Ven's favor because Jojo doesn't have much space to run around with, and Knight gets to cover more of the stage in terms of off stage and on stage. The swordsman can definitely swing underneath the stage as well. So stage stage choice was definitely a big factor there for Ven. Good for him to bring it out to to Smashville. This is definitely best of five. Three. Yeah, all semis, all semis for out there, you guys, is best of five here. But of course, Town and City is a bigger stage. Knight can cover a lot still in Town and City, but it also gives Jojo a little bit more stage to work with, especially when it comes to holding on the neutral, holding on stage, trying to definitely have a spacing game. Does, does wonders for him, especially. I do like the fact that he's still. Uh, oh no, the knight, yep. Battle Common told another. That was kind of tough for JoJo, too. I think he should have just been more content to land on the stage and try to get something, but he's still able to come back. Even though he's at 125, this is literally the stock if he does slip up here. Forward tilt, yeah. That caught the directional air dodge. That's kind of one of those things, though, that I tell people, like, you have to be careful when you're kind of coming back on stage. If you come back on stage too aggressively with a directional air dodge to try to take stage control, you can get caught, especially against characters that do a really good job with catching bulls or spacing. And in, for, in Zelda's case, where a knight has such a wide angle of swinging, that'll be a lot. Yeah, Vayne has a lot of control here. Doesn't have to do much to give it up. Good holding on the shield, though. You don't want to give up too much stage control here. Junction's looking for an opportunity to try to land in with an aerial forward smash. Yeah, trying to go for that low recovery. He has the bomb to cover him. That was good in the reversal as well, because the last hitbox of Hero Spin has the high has a pretty high knockback, and then I'll definitely take care of stocks. All links can do that. 141, good TI, but also the fact that Town and City has a good has a pretty big blast zone. Partially the reason why I think where the both players are content to playing on this stage. Nice. Uh, I got kind of got caught in the middle of like he already executed the combo before I even got the confirm from what I feel like, and he Z dropped the bomb. But unfortunately, in the middle of the up air, he left himself vulnerable because Zelda did not jump. Yeah, all Ben has to do here is just kind of continuously keep up the same game general, the same general game plan, right? He's not much he has to change. That was a pretty big roll from, from the ledge. Yeah, he doesn't have to worry about fighting projectiles off stage. Charge up Knight, wait for the jump? Yeah. Catch the landing. That was, that was good on Ven, that would have done a lot of pressure. Possible shield break, or he would have caught just... Jojo going for a jump. Catch him a little bit on the mix up there. And now Jojo would have definitely had some bad DI. All, all Jojo needs here is a pick with Bomb Fair or Boomerang Fair, but unfortunately, in the middle of trying to get a cross up with the neutral air, Ben will execute his trim card with an FB out of shield to take the game, and then walks away with 